so happy new year and as narcissistic as narcissistic as it sounds to me to say happy birthday to me today is my hebrew birthday today is the 25th of tivet or the 25th of the 10th month and i was born on that date in 1990 now of course some people would say well isn't it the 26th of tivet well if you want to use the rabbinical calendar that's fine, though the biblical calendar goes by the new moon. And for lack of a better term, the new moon is not the no moon. And as I said, I'd be making videos within the new year. That is the Gregorian new year. So anyway, as I said, happy new year. And so the first video I want to make concerns the state of journalism in this country, what I realize is that on both sides of the media, whether it's the far left media, the far right media, or even the, I guess, bipartisan or nonpartisan media, there are so-called anchors and so-called reporters who really don't want to be anchors and reporters. What they want to be is celebrities. And of course, one specific one that I named is Megyn Kelly. The thing is, if you want to be a celebrity reporter, go to Hollywood. Do as someone suggested, entertainment reporting. Please don't waste your time doing the news if all you're going to do is try to be a celebrity instead of an anchor or a reporter. As far as commentary and analysis, by the way, as far as those who do commentary and analysis, and I've said that my whole goal is to do commentary and analysis. People who are honest about the fact that they do commentary and analysis, they say that's what they do. And commentators and analysts include those like Sean Hannity and Bill O'Reilly. And there are definitely leftist commentators too, like Alan Combs. Of course, he's on Fox News Radio though. And unfortunately, on the, I guess on the, left side of the media you have those who I was thinking like maybe I guess Rachel Maddow is a commentator and um I guess Chris Matthews is too anyway I really don't watch MSNBC because they're just as bad as the people on some of the right or some of the people on the right I should rather say like the Drudge Report sorry I want the news to be as objective as possible. I don't want people saying, for example, oh, watch out the immigrants, or oh, watch out the Republicans, or whoever. Even, for example, some people say that Megyn Kelly is conservative, which, forgive my language, is total bullcrap. Because even in the Vanity Fair article, and I didn't catch this when I was watching the returns with the 2012 elections, when Karl Rove hemmed and hauled over the Ohio win, Megyn Kelly had said, is that Republican math that you do to make yourself feel better? That doesn't sound like someone who's very conservative to me. That sounds like someone who's liberal and is stereotyping all Republicans. And I had said that when Obama had gotten Ohio, I knew that that's when he won. And so trust me, People want to say, oh, this person's conservative, this person is liberal, this person is this, this person is that. Well, in any case, it doesn't matter. If the person is claiming to be a journalist or an anchor or whatever, then they need to do their job, or at least they need to be honest about the fact that they're trying to be a commentator or an analyst, or even as far as some of them, they need to be honest about the fact that they're trying to be celebrities. And... That's that. And also, by the way, I know this is a bit of a plug, but I just found that the first book that I written was actually on Amazon. And so that helps. And it's a lot cheaper than where the book was originally, for lack of a better term, where the book was originally sold. So if someone wants to give me a gift for my Hebrew birthday, please go ahead and buy the book. And I was going to say that'd be really awesome, though that's pretty cliche. So, there's that.